subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Why we won't postpone a do on the governorship election, said INEC. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has explained reasons why it would not postpone the upcoming gubernatorial elections in Ondo and Edo states, despite the ravaging coronavirus pandemic in the country. A spokesperson to the commission, Festu Sokoye, in an interview on Monday said, postponing the governorship election in Ondo and Edo states could make INEC lose the right to pick the dates for election in future. INEC in February freezed the date for the governorship election in Edo for September 19th, while that of Ondo State was fixed for October 19th. Subsequently, after the pandemic took a toll across the nation, INEC in March postponed the scheduled governorship by elections in Plateau, Bayasa, and Imu states. But with the increasing number of cases of the respiratory illness across the country, there have been concerns whether it is safe for the Commission to conduct elections, especially in the light of fiscal distancing measures, to curtail further spreading of the disease. What, meanwhile, Mr. Koye cited the 1999 Constitution, which provides INEC the freedom to conduct an election not earlier than 150 days and not less than 30 days to the expiration of the tenure of an elected office holder. He added that, while the Commission is aware of realities of the coronavirus pandemic ravaging the country, the implication of not adhering to the law could make INEC lose the right to pick the date of election going forward. The Commission is a constitutional body and its powers are derived directly from the Constitution Section 178 Act 1, says that it is the function of the INEC to fix the date of elections, but subse Subsection 2 says that an election to the office of the governor shall not shall be conducted not earlier than 150 days and not lesser than 30 days to the expiration of the tenure of the last holder of the office. The implication is that the governor of Edo was sworn in on November 11th and we must conduct the governorship election in Edo state on or before October 13th, 2020. Why that of Ondo state? must be conducted on or before January 25, 2021. The truth of the matter is that the country is faced with a situation of conflicting rights, the rights of Nigerian people to elect their representative and also their rights to life, not to go to the polling unit and die. So, we recognize there will be, no, there will be problems and challenges, but we are on the point and we are determined to deliver on our mandate, Mr. Koye said. He added, he added, if we fail off outside, outside the constitutional window, the implication is that going forward, the commission does not have rights and we are with and we are without to pick the date of elections. The officials also said that the commission will release a timetable and schedule of activities for the two elections on January 1st. This is the news coming from my neck. We all know that everybody have a rule and regulation guiding them. So if I thought my neck think that they can't shift, like they must hold the election, I just hope that they should put the interest of the citizen at, at heart. They should not put the lives of the citizen at risk. You too can as well become part of this discussion by dropping your thoughts and your opinion concerning this at the comment section. Please and please do it, subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell icon to get notified whenever we make a new upload. See you in my next video. Thank you.